Hey guys, Nate Best again, back with another vlog. I know it's been a while since I've done one. Uh, sorry about that, things have been kind of crazy around here. Biggest news of the day is we are having a baby. So, I don't know if you can see, the wifey has that bump. <laughs> That um, bump dough. You're just frumpy? <laughs> yeah, I'm just frumpy. There we go. So that's the exciting news for us. We're having a baby. We're due uh, in January of next year. So things have been kind of weird with that. We've just been kind of doing like, we've had some doctor's appointments. We've had to do some other stuff. So that's part of the reason why I haven't been vlogging. Also, we just redid our basement. So that area where I've been editing and doing my uh, studio -y stuff has kind of been off limits for the last couple weeks so I haven't been able to do anything down there either so it's just kind of made things kind of at a standstill kind of at a halt so we haven't really been able to do much with uh, with the videos lately but it's uh, everything's hopefully kind of starting to get back to normal uh, minus the exception that my wife's belly's gotten big but anyway that's besides the point um, right now it's officially the long weekend for us we are on our way down to Gage Park in Hamilton and uh, we're gonna go check out a band called July talk you might have heard of them uh, they play on the radio a lot around here so we're gonna go check those guys out tonight so hop in buckle up it's go time I think I have the Halloween costume Clever. Guys, what do you think Angela should dress as for Halloween now that she's pregnant? I feel like it would be a really, really, really good idea to somehow integrate the belly into her costume. So maybe like paint it orange and like draw a jack-o'-lantern face on it. Like what do you guys think she should dress up as for Halloween this year? Because I feel like you have to do something with the belly. Because my wife insists that I go to the bathroom now, I'm going to the bathroom now. So, yeah, I'll see you in a little bit. Three days later. <laughs> Person is running frantically over the road. Why is she flailing? I don't know, but that was pretty funny. She looked pretty excited though to flail. Yeah, I think she was very excited for whatever's happening at Gage. See, mm. I feel like people are really discourteous when it comes to sharing the sidewalk with people for parking. Oh yeah, because they leave these ginormous gaps, but yet But not big enough for another car to park. Yeah, like this person. Okay, we found parking. Yay! So, she has this horrible tendency of not bringing her purse with her when she goes out places. So she leaves all of her ID unattended, without, like, not on her. So what happens then, if she has some sort of, if there's some sort of tragedy, she falls, hurts herself, whatever, and she doesn't have her health card with her, and then we have to go to a hospital, what happens then? Because then she can't be identified, and the people at the doctor's office or whatever, or the paramedics or whatever, cannot help her. But see, my rebuttal to this is that you're still going to have this car. So you're going to transport this car to the hospital that I could potentially be going to. And in that car will be my purse with all of my identity. But what if they need it right in the moment? They don't, because I've been in an emergency situation and they don't ask for it right away. I don't think he's right, but anyways, we got here. <laughs> I have coffee. She had a donut, which she didn't like, because apparently it was in donut form instead of Timbit form, which is totally stupid, but whatever. Um, so we just got to the park. We're about a block away. We are going to go walk, and we're going to go do some fun stuff. So we're going to take you along with us. Garden. Oh, yeah. You, you need to show them the pretty Sorry. garden. Sorry. Angela insists that we show you the pretty garden. Look at that garden. They actually did a good job. Actually, it is a really nice garden. Look at that. And they have a purple door. It's pretty cool. And they have a purple door. So this is us spying on neighbors. Hear the music. What street did we park on? Are we gonna remember? Oh shoot, I can't remember. Oh, no. <laughs> we may or may not know where we parked. Just oh. saying. That's the stage, by the way. That's where we're going. I am looking for full length thing. Hey, hey, where are you going? Don't 
What did you think of the concert, huh? It was really good. Yeah? yeah. I really liked it. Um, I didn't really know a lot of the songs, to be honest with you. I think I only knew like three or four of them. But yeah, I only know what plays on the edge. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I just know what plays on the radio, and that's it. But definitely a good show. They uh, definitely have a good presence when they're on stage. Um, anyway, that's it for tonight. We're going to hopefully take you on some more adventures the rest of the weekend. So, uh, yeah, more vlog coming up in the next day. So Sunday morning, starting the day off with course, some YouTube. Snake, and it's my if you don't watch Shunduras, right watch Shunduras. Okay, we'll get back to you later. All right, let's go do some swimming. Are you excited? Yes. We're gonna go to the pool. There's a pool. Where's the pool again? Oh God, I have no idea. We better figure out where this pool is. <laughs> Apparently, it's free, so we're gonna figure it out where that is, and then we're gonna go. So we'll take you all along with us. I still think I'm lovable either way. Okay. Actually, you are kind of lovable. I just don't know if the vlog nation will think you're lovable. <laughs> What do you guys think? Do you think my wife is lovable? Leave a comment below and tell me if you think she's lovable or not. <laughs> There's nobody swimming. Well, maybe one person. Oh, actually, no, that's the parking lot up there. Um, Lane swim. There's nobody swimming. Do we want to swim here? I don't know. So, that looks like a good place to get stabbed and get AIDS. Oh, and I feel bad because it's a new pool, but uh, there's nobody there. Yeah. And it's like not like everyone could watch me from their windows like it's not secluded you know what i mean right like that's a very awkward so space i think we're gonna i think we're just gonna leave here yeah all right so we got back home uh the swimming did not pan out the way it was supposed to um basically the pool we went to kind of looked gross and sketchy and we didn't really feel comfortable going there but anyway we um we made it back home we're safe and sound um, we got changed, we got some lunch in us, um, we're just gonna go out now and, uh, probably go do some Pokemon hunting. Now I know what you're thinking, what is this, 2016? Because clearly Pokemon is not a cool thing anymore, but it actually still is a cool thing. Um, I stopped playing it for a little while, um, I got back into it about two weeks ago. Um, there are now legendaries around, so we get to go look for those. Um, hopefully we find some good ones, and, uh, yeah. 
Angela's looking for one specific one that she didn't get last week that I did. She's kind of jealous, but anyway, let's go see what we can find. Uh. Okay, so it's now 6.30. Uh, we already went out and caught some Pokemon. That was a lot of fun. Um, we didn't really vlog much of it because we all kind of got into the zone and didn't really think to vlog anything. Not now, Chief. I'm in the f zone because we were kind of busy doing this tapping thing where you have to catch everything. Anyway, lots of fun. Caught some good new stuff. Caught a new legendary, which is always good. Um, so, yeah, we're basically in for the rest of the day, I think. We're probably just going to hang out around here. Um, I've got to go outside and mow that yard because it's really, 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 really long. Um, and, yeah, so I guess I'll take you along while we go cut grass. That sounds like a lot of fun, right? Yeah? Cool? Okay, awesome. Let's go do it. Hey! Can I test this song? Why are you so loud? Why are you so loud? Why are you so loud? Shh. Can I test it? Sure, let's give it a test. Look. Is it missing some? I think it needs to be a bit more spice. Other than that, it's good. Okay. What spice is taking? I don't know. I guess no one needs spiciness. Alright guys, so it is the next Monday morning, or I guess afternoon now, it's after 3. But anyway, we thought we would wrap this video up by playing uh, some Mad Libs. I've seen a lot of videos online before where they do uh, play Mad Libs and they usually have like a drink in their mouth or something like that. So what we thought would be fun is instead of doing a normal Mad Libs activity, because we don't have the books to begin with, we thought it'd be more fun to use our Google Home. It's one of those virtual, uh, one of those digital assistants I got it about uh two months ago maybe when they first came out in canada and so we thought it'd be funny if we could get the google to read a mad libs to us so we're gonna start that off first up tell me an adjective fuzzy another adjective smelly tell me a plural noun uh doorknobs say an adjective ugly a noun carpet how about a plural noun Shoulders. I need an adjective. Sticky. How about a noun? Right toenail. Wow, you're great with words. Tell me a verb ending in ing. Running. An adjective. Erect. A part of the body. Nipples. That's the way. I need a plural noun. Kneecaps. Say an adjective. Stinky. Another adjective. Obnoxious. I need a noun. Donald Trump. Give me a plural noun. Eyebrows. Okay. And finally, a noun. Hamster. <laughs> Good. The title is Feline Pharaohs. <laughs> In the ancient land of fuzzy mummies and smelly pyramids, it was great to be a cat. All of today's cats are descended from those ancient doorknobs of Egypt. Beginning as a wild and ugly species, the cat was quickly domesticated and became a symbol of grace and carpet. Kings, queens, and even common shoulders discovered that cats made sticky companions. <laughs> Before long, felines became revered in Egyptian society. Every Egyptian right toenail believed that if you saw a cat while you were action running seeds, you would have an erect harvest. <laughs> Images of cats were seen on everything from jewelry for the nipples to cat-shaped kneecaps that women wore in their stinky hair. Many homes had obnoxious 14-carat Donald Trump cat statues. Egyptians even mummified cats so that their owners could spend the afterlife with their beloved eyebrows. Isn't that the hamster's meow? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so that is the Mad Libs game played by Google Assistant. 
Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of a weird all over the place vlog this weekend. I'm sorry things weren't more interesting. But um, if you did overall enjoy this video, please give us some thumbs up love. We love seeing those. And uh, we'll hopefully, you know, have another video for you guys next week. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.